How many rounds do I take? This is a question tankers often ask. If you join a battle full, you're lowering your survival chances. If you go in half empty, you risk going helpless at the worst possible moment. Let's figure this issue out together. There's only one reason to not take all the rounds you can carry every time. Survivability. Almost every machine in the game improves its chances by leaving some of the ammo behind. For instance, the Tiger I stores most of its rounds in the racks above the tracks, which means a penetration of the upper glacis edge would blow it all up even if it's done by a solid penetrator. There are some examples, of course. For light machines, the amount of ammo doesn't matter much. They can be knocked out by pretty much any penetration anyways. So where's that sweet spot between full and empty? There's quite a number of factors to consider. We'd like to focus on the most important ones. The first thing that defines the minimum you should take is the rate of fire. The most popular reload time in the game is around 6 to 7 seconds. For vehicles within that range, the best number of rounds is around 30. Remember this as a base number. We'll use it later. Sure, there are exceptions here as well. Vehicles with auto cannons like the BMP should always go full. It's too easy to spend it all in active combat, and the number of rounds doesn't really do much to survivability. There's also an opposite situation with large caliber slow reload tanks, like the IS-2. Its maximum ammo is only 28 rounds, but even if you're sporting an ace crew, it can give you almost 10 minutes of continuous fire. Some battles don't even have an active phase that long. Moreover, the IS has large capped rounds that can one-shot an enemy anyway. So we believe the optimal ammo number for the IS-2 is 15 shells. It's enough for most battles and can also improve the chances for this tight Soviet internal layout. Now the second factor has already been mentioned. It's the round types. The most widespread ammo on low and medium ranks is capped rounds. They come in all sizes and shapes, but they all share one trait, good damage. If you don't have to shoot a lot, you can lighten up the load. Now, early sub-caliber rounds are a different thing. They can't boast good damage and often require second or even third shots. That means you might want to take more ammo to battle. Top-tier tanks are another separate case. Sure, they carry DS shells, but it doesn't mean they should carry more. APF SDS rounds have great damage, and coupled with amazing velocities, stabilizers, and laser rangefinders, you shouldn't be missing that much. Add to that the fact that survivability matters way more in the top tier. That's the reason many MBTs have blowout panels in the turret rear that save the crew in case of ammo explosions. Top tanks like the Leopard should keep their ammo pool at 20 to 25 shells. The majority of the rounds will be stored in the safe compartment, and only some will fill the racks in the hull front. The location you're playing matters too. For instance, you might want to take more ammo to maps with longer ranges since you'll need to take ranging shots. We'd also like to mention some ambiguous factors like your playstyle. Some players stay careful, meet fewer opponents, but survive the entire battle. Others prefer quick attacks but risk losing their vehicle after a couple of frags. It's unique for each player, so we can't give you a straightforward piece of advice here. If you put the question we posed at the beginning of this section to even the most experienced tankers, their answers would probably vary a lot. So our recommendation for beginners is to start with the average numbers we just provided and follow the general advice. With time, your own experience will tell you how many shells you'll need in each battle. Do you have your own rules for filling ammo racks? Share them in the comments while we answer some of your questions. <laughs>